Welcome to the OK Good Review channel. Guys, we do not. This is this is another Transformers first toy that we have not reviewed. We we've reviewed this guy and this guy, but definitely not this guy. But that's this review is for this guy. Yes, so this that Ford tow truck that apparently reminds us of a Dodge Dakota. Yeah, the front grill looks like one of the older model Dodge Dakotas. I think this is like a Ford F three fifty or something. Though Dakotas were never used as tow vehicles. So um, let's take a look at this in vehicle mood here. Hey, does this go up anywhere? Is this just sit like this? It's just supposed to sit like that. That can't be right. Looks like she should go down more. Can it go down more? There's the twenty million dollar question. There, you go. Um, there. Now it looks closer to like it's on his roof. Okay, guys. So that is long arm. His the first Transformers. Yes, it is. I've always wanted this figure, and I've also not even know who that was before. But I've seen him in a lot of um, stop motion. So his, yeah, he's very popular for not being in the movie. So his hook disintegrated, unfortunately. We might, <laughs> we might, yeah, we might super glue it back on into one single position, but here he is. He's definitely a very good tow truck, and I believe they use this mold at some point later for, I want to say, probably hoist. The old Orson's towing action. And the front looks like a very old style Dakota, but like I said, I think it's a Ford F-350, if I recall correctly. And so on the side, you can see this actually is a very good looking tow truck. The tow apparatus is very, very cool. Guys, um, guys, there's something I need to show you. This back of the truck is more than meets the eye. Indeed. So he, okay. um, hang on a second, let's see, let's put him, let's give it a Bobby. So Bumblebee, it, he's also a deluxe class, and you can see he is about the same length. Obviously, he's quite a lot wider than B, but, and we have this, uh, we have he Jazz here. He was here. always meant to be a smaller deluxe. Also from the first Transformers movie, and you can see he's just a little wider than Jazz, but he's definitely notably longer than Jazz. And the interior is, nobody could obviously ever drive this vehicle, but I mean, it, it's a cool looking tow truck. It's pretty obvious, uh, definitely what it is and what the function is. The more than meets the eye is, you get these bumpers back, and it reveals a hidden sniper right here. Oh, yeah, so you can shoot, and it, this is a spring action. Can you actually fire it? Yeah, pretty eye. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so you can fire the, this missile as well. So that's pretty cool. All right. So we've already done the first few steps of the transformation. So the transformation has already begun. So I guess then you just hold the sides down like this and pull the bumpers into this. Why is there a grill there? It's always something that I've been skeptical about. Why is there a grill in those sides Let's of see. the towing thing? Let's see. That's, that's not a grill. What is that? Uh, it looks like part of his part of his hand, possibly. You're talking about this part right here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, not really a... It does, it does kind of look like a grill, but look, it, it, it's probably just a pad for when it goes in. It might be used to store tools, actually, too. It could be drawers. These, these tow trucks come with a lot of different tools in them, so it's probably something along those lines. And then you just pull these panels up. Also, fold these up. We're gonna want... Oh, I can see you! Alright. So then, just fold that down. Oh, there's his real hands. Unfortunately, this gun can't come off. It's freaking pinned. Yeah, I, I think it's screwed in. And I think we probably can... We can get a screwdriver and unscrew it, guys, I think. Oh, we'll take a look at that when he's in robot mode, just to make sure. Done, guys. 
And of course then you just this guy is um pretty old, so Yeah, he th this one seems to have some a little bit of weakness in the ball joints. I don't know if it's the mold or just <laughs> something else, but Luckily these are easy ball joints to put back on. They've been used a lot, so Oh, and uh, here he is. You can see there's a oh, okay. Let's check it out. So you can see there is a a lot of slop in this ball joint right here. Well, actually, I guess it holds fairly. Oh, whoa, look at that face sculpt. I've not actually seen his face sculpt, guys, before. So we got his hands. This is just clumsy. So let's see. That is, guys, it is. Let's take a look right here. That is a screw. So we should be able to unscrew that. Yeah. Just looks like a, is that a Phillips. Yeah, it looks like a Phillips screwdriver, guys. So we can actually unscrew this. So is he? Can he hold it though? No. I think that's the only way you can hold it. Is oh no, there's a there's a post here. You have to get that. So post you could actually okay. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, so maybe that'll be something we do at some later point. But for now, he's just going to have this incredibly cumbersome thing in the way. We oh, there's see. different gun modes too. Six, you oh, can do with it. Okay, we'll get some posing here with Leo Matic in a minute. So he's got this cool diamond plating here. I like this. This this is really cool looking. I wish this guy would have been in the movie. I, it's I, another it's another model that wasn't in the movie just to sell more money. I yeah, just to sell more toys. That's right. I am digging this. I like oh man, I like this guy in robot mode. He looks a little small, but I think it's just because his gun is so huge. He's got more diamond plating here on the arms. This is actually a very cool thing. His uh, is bigger than him. I don't love the the foots where he's walking on the hood. I feel That's like That's just going to damage the hood. Yeah, I feel like that would do a pretty effective job of damaging the hood and wreck the grill as well. So I'm not in love with that, but the rest of this, I mean, this is really good looking. This is a good looking robot mode. And I mean, I, I'm not excited about this in vehicle mode because I don't really care about tow trucks and semis and stuff like that. But, I mean, that's pretty, I guess that part's cool, too. This is really floppy. Why is this so floppy? Ooh, guys, look, I got, I got his hook to stand like that. Neep, neep. Neep, <laughs> What did he do? I, I neep, neep, neep. I neep, neeped him. All right. Okay, guys, so, yeah, I mean, coloration's pretty good. You could do the trans. Boy, this is so, this is putting so much stress on this, on the side. It's just introducing a whole lot of slop. So maybe that'll be a project in the very near future, guys. I mean, it is a first movie. Oh, boy. And, and here's is this the is this the trigger right here? Let's see. Yeah, that's the trigger. Oh right yeah, there. it is. That oh. thing fires so fast that you can't even catch it sometimes. Let's so let's shoot it at Leo. Meep meep. <gasps> okay, oh, guys. Okay. So meep meep. I'm gonna shoot it at you now. Meep, meep. So we can we can possibly okay no it's because the entire tow apparatus is on here too. So so maybe we'll do that if 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 our, if our star wants us to to take this um is it hold on a second here is it that screw it is that screw so we can take this screw out of his hand <laughs> and then he it's can a, it's a screw in my hand and we can um, see this one doesn't have one yeah but we can take that screw out if you really want to dude so you can have them. So you can have a free floating weapon. Also, there's some different gun modes that you can do. Okay, let's check it out. One, this thing. Two, you can pull the gun down and reveal hook sword. Oh yeah, okay. Then of course there is the boot, I would call it booty blocker, but it is the battle blocker. Oh, battle blocker, nice. You can use the light bar as a shield of sorts. Oh, and don't forget the clippers. Clippers. Or grabbers, I mean. Sip scissors. If in case one of the Autobots needs a haircut, like Hound. Hound! Look at that! Oh yeah, wonderful. <laughs> I mean, it can pick stuff up. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, I'm having a hard time picking this up. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to work super well. Alright, and then of course there is just normal sniper one. Oh, ow, oh, but we've also just done the steps to transform him back. Ah. One of them. Well, let's transform him back. Why not? Why not? 
So yeah, this one doesn't seem like he has an especially complex transformation. I love this guy. He is pretty cool. That didn't... Yeah, the ball joints are... I think part of the engineering of this is... A, a little touch problematic. I mean, having that that tiny of of pins on the hook, which is like one of the most common things that you're going to wind up playing with, right? So if you have this toy, you're going to be working that hook like there's no tomorrow, right? Because what good is a tow truck if it can't also tow cars, right? If it can't tow cars, it's not really a tow truck. It's just a truck. Yeah, and so putting that week of a system on the hook was to me just kind of nonsense. Well, I mean it is one of the first two like 2007 toys. Yeah but still the the design I, I wonder if they fix that for hoist. I'll have to see if I can find a hoist that was one of the later versions and I don't recall what mold they used um, or what line they used it on. It's probably generations or something but I'll see if I can track one of those down just for comparison. All right so Amy with the wax table, you can make anything a fidget spinner. Yep, that's true. True fact. True fact. True fact. True. True. All right. Very so true. When we got to spin. We got to sneeze. And then we tuck the feet underneath to get to make the front of the truck it looks like. Ah, I, this hurts a lot. This gun gets in the way, so just simply flip it out. It's really not a pain to put back in place, so. Um, and I'm not saying this sarcastically, it really isn't a pain to do that. It's actually just like a flip thing, flip that. It's kind of cool. I can't believe this B is the first part of the truck. And if they did this for a real movie toy, like a real movie movie, yeah. Why? And then, and then the driver just wondered why there's a whole bunch of scratches on his feet. On the <laughs> and it's because he's a robot in disguise and he walks on a lot of curbs. Well, you know, so here's here's the thing, okay? So they're if they're actually made of transformium, which is kind of silly, but maybe they're self-healing or something. Hmm. But I don't know. You know, there's well, a lot wait, of different that things. That right? that in um, the last night with Bumblebee. Re he could reassemble his. Self. Yeah, Bumblebee was immortal. Yeah, but well, you know, wait. like in Transformers Prime, we had Knockout talking a lot about oil baths and stuff like that on Cybertron. So, what? which also doesn't really make sense. But I mean, maybe it's something like that to give it some some restoration and take all the scratches out. I think it's probably. I think that this guy has the same power as Bumblebee in the last night. Yeah, he didn't have that in the first movie, though. Too bad. Immortality. Wait, isn't that cheating? So if Bumblebee has immortality, yeah, I mean, why doesn't well, anybody else? Might as well just make him completely OP. I don't really see any point of doing that, though. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't doesn't really <laughs> make for a lot of conflict. <laughs> really. Like, why don't you just call it a day if you know that he's immortal and he can never be killed? Yeah, yeah. Kate said it himself. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. And how could Bumblebee reassemble itself? I don't get it. What is he, some sort of warlock? I'm not sure how he came by that power either. What? Immortality? It was one of the, one of the big mm -hmm. mysteries of the last night. Last? One of many. Yeah, one of many. Another one of many. If you haven't already seen Nemesis Prime on the first Transformer G1 show, isn't he different colors? So if he was Nemesis yeah, Prime I think in they the just, last I think night, they just wanted to make that reference. I don't think they actually wanted to make it accurate to the colors. 
if they did, it would make a lot more sense that he was Nemesis. Mm. And he doesn't just look like Optimus, who is your nice and friendly neighborhood neighborhood web slinger. But anyway. Uh, and the last thing, he just closed it. I don't get it. He closes the doors like a fancy car, like a Lamborghini. Or yeah, something. they're they're gullwing doors, which is really weird to have on that car, on that vehicle. Like, <laughs> I've never seen a tow truck with gullwing doors, guys. Leave a comment if you can. The if you've going, ever seen the going door truck. Yeah, I, 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 I. Yay. All right, guys. So there he is, back into his. Oh my God! His light bar. Uh -oh. oh wait, I forgot. There's some modes on that you can do on the actual thing itself. Okay, all right. I'll take a look at those in a second. Hang on a second. We gotta actually fix the light bar so it so it looks like it's supposed to. Okay. All right. The first thing is satellite mode. All right. So hold on. Let's get a look here. Satellite. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's like it's a. He's got the dish with his light bar. Oh, and uh, down there's ocean grabber mode. Ocean grabber mode? Like he can grab the whole ocean? No, he can grab stuff. Um, um, that doesn't seem like the greatest gripping system ever, but... Uh, it will just have to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and uh, one more thing. In robot mode, there's one more configuration I didn't show you, but it this can also act like ammo. Like this is a magazine right here. Okay. So you can literally make it a. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways you guys can display this. This is a, this this vehicle lends itself really well to stuff. Except for the grabbing system. Even even though it's even though it's 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 hook is ammo kind of holder. Rubbish. So there's ammo holder, bowing doors. Going doors. Going doors. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the wings of a seagull. That's what they can. That's what that came from. Why don't you just strip the doors off the normal? Here's what Hasbro thought when they said when they were making this. Why don't we strip the normal doors and put going doors instead? Let's make it like it's worth a thousand dollars. Yeah, I think they had to do that for the. Purposes of transformation, but ammo holder. Yes, indeed. Ammo so, holder. yeah. So, so there it is, guys. And of course, light bar. The our look at the Activating deluxe class long arm from the first Transformers live action movie, guys. And I think we actually are pretty close. This might, in fact, be the last figure we have for that movie. I'll have to check, but. We're getting pretty close to getting the first three movies wrapped up. Of course, Age of Extinction and The Last Night are pretty well done at this point. Guys, if you did enjoy this look, please give us the old thumbs up, guys. Hit the red subscribe button if you have nothing so ready, guys. Guys, I don't know if there will be comments, guys, or the blue notification bell. If there is, please feel free to use them if you would care to do that, guys. Whether there are or not, please come follow us on our Twitter feed. We're updates such channel made in live and direct time, guys, including... Possibly we're gonna maybe super glue this guy's tow hook, maybe modify him a little bit and take the gun off his hand. And guys, any displays will be on Twitter as well as other Twitter specific content. You can also come onto videos there if you care to do that, guys. Please come follow us. We would love to have you if you are a Twitter user, guys. But anyway, here it is. One last look at long arm, the brave, the strong. The many purpose truck. The many purpose truck. Ford F-350 two truck. Gullwing doors. With his gullwing doors, guys. <laughs> Actually, turn them, open them up and then face them to us. <laughs> there he is, guys. <laughs> Flying mode. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he can fly. We'll <laughs> so see y'all next time. I'm a seagull. Bye-bye. <laughs>